Hey everyone, welcome back to Dredge, part two. Uh, so last time we kind of learnt how things work, and we also got this uh, weird handkerchief from a mutant fish. So we had someone say they want us to deliver it, so I think what we'll do is we'll rest until morning, and then we'll uh, go off. So they were off to the south, is where we're going to be heading. So that's where we're going to head off, we'll catch some fish as we go, and yeah. I tell you what, I'm so keen getting back into this, eh? It has been a couple of days, and I hope you're all enjoying it as much as I am. So yeah. Oh, apparently that's why that doesn't disappear. Let's just do that. Cool. So we need to head south. I assume that's it over there. I can't fish in the ocean, but we'll, uh, we'll just go. I love that there's just a horn button. Like, if I do that, we don't have what we need. We should get the oceanic rod at some point. I feel like the risk is that I'm just loading myself up with too many things, but, uh, still. And we got another, uh, another message in a bottle. Probably from that couple. So, if we have a look, uh, messages. 21st of August, the so next day. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. I've had that happen. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat re renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. It's because she's got the, uh, the little keychain thing, isn't it? We should check behind our island as well when we get a chance, because there was, um, there's that red light. Can we fish here? We can. Oh, is this just the, yeah, blue mackerel? That's right, we'll get a few. Why not? May as well take some with us. I'm just dropping these where they go for now. We'll, we can pay more attention when we start getting close to filling. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. I think we figured that out. So that we now understand why uh, we haven't been able to get um, rid of that tutorial the whole time. So is this where we need to deliver it? Looks like it. Ruined mansion. The man is standing in the doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable, even after all this time. This handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I'll outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Buy me these lost relics and I'll reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Dredge crane. Relish we're looking for a, a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Cool. Let's keep going. So we have the dredge now. I'm assuming if I go L1... No, it's not there. So it's just fishing, fishing, I guess. Maybe. We'll find out. Uh, can I fish this? Ah, it's more mackerel. I don't need mackerel. Give me, give me something unique. Let's find out about that red light, maybe. Look your lights. Oh. Oops. Uh, Alright, the eye... How did I miss that one? Let's just get some squid. Oops. May as well fill up here. Depleted. 
Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Oh, I don't like those noises. Um, what's going on here? What is this? Oh! Oh my god! That's new. Voltaic Groper. Uh, what was that thing that attacked us? Like, is it because I'm fishing the weird looking ones? Maybe? Snag squid. Oh my god, look at it. Oh, weird. Alright, I think we need to repair our ship. The panic has, uh, the panic is real. So we're a bit damaged now. It's not ideal. Fisherman, what is it? You look a touch trouble. Is the fog starting to get to you? Completely normal around here, and nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, you'll be right as rain by morning. So the lighthouse keeper wants to talk to us? What is it? You know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of the Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Interesting. And what about the builder? You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's difficult. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. And I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake. Don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. Moving along. I can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again. Lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber, two units of scrap is all I need. I can make, myself, make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Cool. Uh, okay. Remember, you don't have all the materials at once. You can store whatever you have right here at the dry dock. Yeah. So we don't have any of this stuff yet. But I think the dredge lets us get that. Oh. Your boat's looking a bit banged up. I can repair that here if you'd like. So if I go... Uh, repair all is triangle. There we go. Look at this. Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellowed crooked teeth. Top row are flattened like human molars. And an unknown green energy arcs and crackles over the suspicious scales. It thrashes ceaselessly, even hours after being pulled from the water. So we got some weird fish. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Shimongo reaches on the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. So, do I just sell that to you? Yeah. God, they give a lot of money. We'll sell all those. Um, I wouldn't mind. Your action time slowed. Rocks and things will seem to jump out. Shallow, shallow. Alright, we don't have the ocean one. Maybe we put some new a new lens in let's do this and then we're going to rest before we head back out all right uh cabin search for relics we need two lumber and one common crab and one fiddler crab we'll put the rids rids reels um sustainable fishing 10 percent chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod that's cool So we've explored a little bit. We haven't done a lot yet. The encyclopedia, we found some new uh, aberrations. So there's our snag squid. Yeah, cool. All right, that feels like progress. Let's go out and check our crab pots. We now have a better light as well, which might help us. Whatever that thing was, it really came out and got us, didn't it? Um, so we can check a few areas now that we've got the dredge. We still don't have ocean fishing, which is a shame, but that's okay. Oops. Oops. We're okay. 
great eel. Let's just put that here for now. Oh, come on. I, I'm too impatient. I keep trying to hit it like when I can just wait a second. Alright, there's three eels. Uh, let's check our crab pots, I think. Check pot. We got a fiddler crab. And from this one, we got common crabs. There's one day left on the uh, pots. Do I... Maybe I take them with me. I'm not sure yet. Let's see what happens if we don't. So we'll just leave them here. They'll run out after one more day, but I just want to see what happens with them. Start dredging. Oh, okay. Avoid. I see what's happening now. We just have to dodge the gaps. Don't know why I went down into that one. Lumber. Oh. All right. Well, we're finding things. I'm pretty sure this one needs ocean. Yeah, oceanic. So we can't do that yet. That's okay. We'll try this one here. Oh, this is another dredge. We understand now. We're fine. We know what we're doing. Oh, God. Uh, there. Is there any way to allow another one in here? Uh, if I rotate this like that... Um, doesn't look like it. No, not really. That's all right. Hmm. Yeah, there's not a good spot for this, is there? Wait, if I do that that we can get a couple more fish maybe we can't take any more metal god it takes up a lot of space doesn't it okay um, the we can pick up a couple of small things but can't pick up anything major can we all right night time I wonder if there's anything glowing. Doesn't look like it. We'll just take one of these. Get a second one. That'll do for now. Oh, the light does a bit better, doesn't it? Alright, cool. I feel like that might be where we need to go dredge. So... Do we go out there at night is the question. I don't think we do. Maybe we'll head there after we rest. Yeah, we'll do that. We got any crabs? Yes. Don't forget. So we can drop him off and one of these. There we go. Fishmonger wraps up the, the fishmonger. Wraps up the crabs and hands you money. Is do. Glad you got some use out of the old pot. You can always buy more or repair damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? They go mad. Well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Okay. Kind of wish I knew that before. Maybe we'll go out and... Let's just drop off our... What do we want? Rod spaces, net spaces, engine spaces, light spaces. I think I want another light. No, I want another rod space. We can drop off that and this. 
Let's just go with that for now. All right. We're going to go back out and just try to find a deformed fish because it feels like you need to do it during the uh, during the night, you know? Or do we just go for that red light? Uh, hate that. Yeah, let's let's just go. What's the worst that can happen? Shapes in the deep. Go quick. <laughs> A ring. Worn gold ring. Okay. Get the light back on. I want to find out what this red glow is, eh? Oh, I hate that. Just eyes. Oh, that's off-putting. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is horrifying. Oh, I didn't like that. Uh, can we fish here? Disturbed water. That looks important, doesn't it? God, just dodge. Dodge everything. <laughs> The sounds when you mess up are awful. Relic. Oh. We got the key. Um, and we finished that book as well at that time, didn't we? Um, rods will reel in fish 10% more efficiently. Well, that's useful. With uh, that ghost ship, which was actually an angler fish, was pretty gnarly. So all we can do here is just fish. We can't actually pull things up. Eel. We're okay. Although I'm worried about um, birds and stuff. A barbed eel. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. So I mean... We're okay. We took we took some damage, but it really has just negatively impacted our uh, fishing. Maybe we need to get like something that lets us ah uh, go faster because that giant anglerfish just was on top of us before I could do anything. Uh, we'll drop off the relic first, and I assume that's what that red glowing light was. What's this telling me? Oh, it's just the barb fish. And we'll take that to the fishmonger. No. The blue mackerel is not a high priority at the moment. We need to get materials from dredging. Just to uh, upgrade stuff. Like more storage capacity would be fantastic. We went to the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. Oh, trophy. Deliver the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have travelled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages of the book and mutters something low under his breath. Oh my god. A burst of light fills your vision, and you stagger back briefly. Haste. Otherworldly speed at a price. Now go. We have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Haste. 
The words of haste are insolent and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Hmm. There are other powers you wish to know more about. No, not yet. Uh, take a look at these trinkets. Do not bother me with common clutter. I hear that trader in Little Marrow deals with such trivialities. All right, we'll take the ring over to the uh, other guy. What's the workshop? Workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. It's locked. That's a shame. All right, we're going to rest until morning. So we'll just go through the night. Then we'll drop off that ring at the trader. And then we'll... Uh... Hey, that speed to your engine increases panic and engine heat. Oh, interesting. It's pretty cool. I love my horn. I do love the horn. Um, so yeah, it's cool. Like books give, uh, books give bonuses, and they just sort of go as you read. Uh, sorry, as you spend any time at all. So that's really useful. That looks like wood, which we could use. We'll go back to light. Dredge. Just get some wood. This is easy enough. Ow. Famous last words. We'll get this one as well. Because we need we need the uh, the wood for upgrades. So we've depleted that now. Let's just place this one here. Alright. We can get some uh, stingrays. Yeah. They take up a fair bit of space. Oh, that's right. We can't do any actual catching. So we'll just get one of these. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it in anywhere. We may have to move some things around. Yeah, if we do that, we can drop this one down here. That'll work. That'll work for now. I don't think we can take a second one, but one's okay. So the trader... Welcome. Found anything special lately? Gold always holds its value. So he just takes things like that. Uh, what about the grieving father? Hello. Is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes. You see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. Man clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anyway. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Alright. Let's keep an eye out for that. Those are flounders, which we're okay with. It doesn't look good for our uh, our crab pots, does it? Needs repair. Okay, so we can take all. Uh, I can't fit you in. All right, we'll leave that one there. We can take these. Uh... And we can pick this one up to repair it. Yeah, cool. Let's just let's just head back for the day. Oh, bit of lightning. I wonder if we can get struck out here. It makes sense if we can. Uh, we've got room for a squid. He can go here. If I move this one here and this one here, we actually have room for one more. But it's depleted anyway, so that's alright. We'll just go and hand this in for now. Drop off our, our materials. I think the issue is we need to upgrade everything. Lighthouse Keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh. It's you. Who were you expecting? Your engine. It sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for a vessel of an old friend. Dejectedly, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. 
All right, fishmonger. Have you got any of those mutants with you? Yes. Remember, any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. Here you go. The barbed eel. Fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. Oh, why don't you take these two? They're of no use to me. Cool. That'll be useful. You hear that? Sounds like the faintest whisper. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now. So we'll sell all our fish. Fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. All right. Uh, dry dock. We can continue to upgrade this with wood. What are we missing? A bolt of cloth. We don't have that yet. Like, I can't figure out if I need all of them or whether that will go like that and then we can just put storage for the other one. Let's just drop that there. Uh, then we can research. There's, oh my god. So that's sort of what we should work towards, I think, is getting a good... And you can upgrade your crab pots. Two per day, two to three per day. Yeah, interesting. Um, I would like this. And then we can start working towards... The hydraulic rod? Let's spend one on for that. Now available in stores. Cool, so that's our research. We can now go to the shipwright. Repair all. Uh, crab pot's repaired as well. So, I can put that... Uh, hang on. Two storage. Coastal and shallow. But didn't we have one that was coastal and shallow? 460. Okay. That's what we're going to work towards. Let's go catch some stuff to save up 460. Uh, I think we can go out at night. I think we're okay. Just the... Uh, the ability to get, like, rarer fish is better at night, so... That seems like a good move to me. But we need 460. We'll just come across this sort of quiet area. Try to get some some fish. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh, we can actually pick up that crab as well, can't we? Let's, um... There was a ghost ship again. Didn't like that. And we can pick up this to get it repaired. Like, that glow must mean something as well. Uh, alright. Well, with this stuff, I wouldn't mind getting the other crab pot repaired, but... Oops. This. Then the crab pot. We'll drop that. And we can go and just drop off our stuff in there. It makes me feel better. It doesn't do... Oh. Oh, I didn't like that. A foghorn echo. It's out there. It is very much out there. <laughs> oh, this game is so good. All right. Fishmonger. Fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Ah. Oh. What if I rest? <laughs> I would like to sell my fish. No. Okay, um... Well, that's not ideal, is it? You want to get more out of your engines? Take a look at this book. Nice. Um... Hey, can you repair my crab pot? <laughs> Thanks. 
cool. Um, how am I meant to sell fish then? Make sure we got the book going. I feel like we just have to wait, but I don't know how long we have to wait. Oh, what's a yellow? Trophy court. Okay. I don't know why I'm catching these. These fish are not worth, like, anything. Um, we can drop off our crab pots again. Let's, like, bring it over here. I don't know if it affects each other, but why not just be on the safe side? Alright, so we've got two crab pots. I want to find out what's over here. Because we see that glow during the night. How am I for space? Not great. That's alright. We'll find out what's out here. Surely the fishmonger will come back soon. Who knows? Eels. Alright. I'm not sure if we want to wait till night time here or... No, that's the macro thing, but... Oh, we can come and have a look. What's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull up a little closer. Look inside. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Can we fit all of this? Research part. That's beautiful. Citrine ring. We can drop lumber here. Move this boy down like this. Then we can bring this lumber here. That's pretty cool. Just finding out what we can find here. It's uh, still light, so I'm not overly worried. That's good to do a little exploring. Stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air. Around it, faint shapes dance upon the surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place hand on stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Oh, that's disappointing. Do we have to come back at night, maybe? That's all I can think of. All right, well, we got some wooden stuff from the wreck. That's pretty good. We'll take it. Um, so we can go to the trader, drop off the stuff we've just got there. Though it is almost night time. Maybe we... Let's just... Let's find out what happens when it gets dark. See if we can find this... Uh... Hang on. If I do this... Golf land. That's cool. It can tell me what's in here and whether I can catch them or not. Nice. That seems useful. I've been meaning to try that. How are we for space? We really don't have much at all. Uh, no, not much. Uh, look, that's pushing us here. Like, I don't know why, but it wants us going there. wonder when we'll unlock something for that. I just want to see if that glow comes back out at night. Another thing to look at. Pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. Okay. Good to know. Alright. Night time's coming. Is that going to cause this glow that I keep seeing back here? I'm sure we're going to regret being out here at night, but... When I can't even sell my fish. Yeah, okay. There it is. Like, what is that? All right, not good. I don't think I should have done that. 
I feel like I don't have something I need for that. <laughs> oh. That has definitely ramped our panic up. Yeah, it definitely feels like there was something that I don't have for that yet. Uh, rocks just coming out of nowhere. Oh my god, what is that? No, thank you. Oh god. I am filled with regret. Ah, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Surely it can't follow us in here. <laughs> we're okay. The mayor appears in front of the dock. His face swims before your eyes and his words blur with the waves crashing around you. Uh, okay. If C, fog, shapes, rest, careful, nightmares. Some passed him into town. <laughs> Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what else can I do for you? I would like to sell all my fish. Oh, we didn't get a lot for that. We only got 45 for that. Uh, we can... The ship right? Looking a bit worse for wear. When's the last time you had a good night's sleep? It's been a little while. Uh, you aren't who I wanted to see anyway. Dry dock. Don't have all the materials at once you can store. Yeah. We still don't have the cloth, so the other parts can just go into our, uh, storage. Coastal, shallow, oceanic. It's what I wouldn't mind working towards. But... There's some benefit to going for improved engines as well. You know, we may as well grab stuff. <sighs> Alright. So this is what I want. But that costs us 460. The improved engine is 200. But, you know. I think we're alright for now. Halogen spotlights. That's new. Alright. We can rest. And I think... That's going to be a good spot to leave it for now. Next time, we will go and uh, sell off this material. See what we can get here. Uh, we can put the wood just in the storage for now. Um, but yeah. What we might do, actually, is uninstall both of these. And we will actually replace them with the ocean fishing. And we'll do some ocean fishing next episode. That'll be something different for us. But we'll give that a go. But until tomorrow, we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Have a great time, and we'll see you soon. Bye.